AI used to be something that was kind of esoteric, you know, deep learning, uh, machine learning, until of course we discovered ChatGPT. Then suddenly it was like this magical thing. And do you remember the early days of ChatGPT when there were all these rogue AI personalities out there? Did any of you figure out that by typing a series of words, you could actually summon up Sydney, who was sarcastic and snarky and would threaten you um, until they figured out how to put guardrails on that? And of course, 10 months later, you know, ChatGPT is much, maybe not as fun, but smarter, more reliable, connects to Expedia and Kayak. Not only will plan an itinerary for you in Barcelona, but can connect to OpenTable and check restaurant reservations uh, and check flight availability. Of course, last month, ChatGPT became multimodal, which means it can now look, listen, and speak. So what does this mean? Well, it means, for example, you can take a picture of a parking sign like this and you can ask ChatGPT, can I actually park here? Isn't it extraordinary? We needed thousands of years of technological development to actually understand how to avoid getting a parking ticket. I mean, what is this if not progress? I'm an optimist. I don't think our careers or our jobs are going to go away, but we are going to have to evolve. We are going to have to upgrade our own skills and ability. And we're going to have to think about what all of this means in the broader context of living in an algorithmic age. Uh, there was a song that came out recently um, called Heart on My Sleeve. And uh, this is a song by Drake and The Weeknd. Or at least it sounds like it's from them. Because the problem is, is that neither of those artists had anything to do with this song. It was created by an artist called Ghost Rider, who used an AI to actually statistically model the voices create the music and write the lyrics. Uh, so basically it was completely generated by artificial intelligence. He released it on TikTok, six million people listened to it. Record companies had a conniption, lost their minds, ordered it to be taken down. They I basically said to themselves, this is our new Napster moment. But did they do the right thing? Are we moving into a world in which AIs create music better than us? Now arguably, if I was Drake or The Weeknd, I would have actually you know, I would have said, listen, this is great. I don't need to create music anymore. I would have just taken the song, performed it at Coachella. You know, Grimes, who's the former girlfriend of Elon Musk, did something very similar. She said, you know what, steal my voice. She created an AI model of voice, released it publicly and said, listen, you can do anything you want with it. Just give me 50% of what you make. Now that's somebody who understands how value and economics are changing in this new AI powered era. Five or 10 years ago, we thought AI was gonna come after manual labor. People working in warehouses, on factory floors. It's actually coming after knowledge work. 